It's the American dream, isn't it? The idea of owning your own home, a place to call your own, is to put down roots and build a life. But as you start to look at houses and condos, you might find yourself wondering just how you're going to afford it all. The mortgage, the property taxes, the repairs, and the renovations it can feel overwhelming. But what if I told you that with a little bit of planning and strategy, you could save thousands of dollars on your real estate purchase? That's right, thousands of dollars. Imagine what you could do with that kind of money. Pay off credit card debt, save for retirement, or even put it towards a down payment on a second property. The possibilities are endless. So, are you ready to master the art of saving money on your real estate purchase? Let's dive in. As the sun rises over the city, casting a warm glow on the bustling streets below, I can't help but think about the countless opportunities that real estate offers for those who are willing to master the art of saving money. You see, for decades, I've been helping people from all walks of life navigate the complex world of real estate. From the ultra-wealthy with millions to invest to the blue-collar worker looking to purchase their first home. And one thing I've learned is that no matter how much money you have, the key to success in real estate is to always be looking for ways to save. As I sit here in my office, overlooking the city, I can't help but think back to one of my very first clients. She was a young woman, just starting out in her career, with very little money to her name. But she was determined to purchase her first home, and she was willing to do whatever it took to make it happen. Together, we sat down and looked at her finances, and we quickly realized that the key to her success was going to be saving every penny she could. We set up a strict budget for her, and we worked together to find ways to cut costs wherever we could. We negotiated with the seller to lower the price of the home, and we found ways to make the purchase process more efficient so that she could save on closing costs. And in the end, she was able to purchase her dream home, all while keeping her expenses to a minimum. That's the key to success in real estate, my friends. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or a seasoned investor, the key is to always be looking for ways to save. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years so that you too can master the art of saving money on your real estate purchase. I remember the first time I purchased a piece of real estate. I was just starting out in my career, and I had saved every penny I could. I felt like I had all the knowledge in the world, but as I looked at the numbers, I realized that I didn't know nearly as much as I thought I did. I was about to make a huge mistake, one that would have cost me thousands of dollars. But, as luck would have it, I had a wise mentor who took me under his wing and showed me the ins and outs of saving money on a real estate purchase. The first thing I learned was that timing is everything. The real estate market is constantly fluctuating, and timing your purchase correctly can make a huge difference in the amount of money you'll pay. My mentor taught me to pay attention to the market and to act quickly when the time was right. I learned to be patient and to wait for the right opportunity rather than jumping in too soon. Another important lesson was to always negotiate. 
The price of a piece of real estate is never set in stone. There's always room for negotiation, and if you don't ask, you'll never know what you could have saved. My mentor taught me how to negotiate effectively and how to read the seller's body language. I learned how to spot the telltale signs of a seller who is willing to make a deal and how to walk away from one who isn't. The final lesson I learned was to always get a home inspection. This may seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised at how many people skip this step. A home inspection can save you thousands of dollars in repairs down the road. My mentor showed me how to find a reputable inspector and what to look for during the inspection. By following these simple tips, I was able to save thousands of dollars on my first real estate purchase. And I've been using these same strategies ever since, with great success. So, if you're thinking of purchasing a piece of real estate, remember to time it right, negotiate effectively, and always get a home inspection. These are the keys to mastering the art of saving money on your real estate purchase. As the sun sets over the city, casting a golden glow over the brick and concrete, one question lingers in the minds of many hopeful homeowners, how can I save money on my real estate purchase? Well, my friends, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I worked with a young couple who were just starting out in life. They had their hearts set on a charming little bungalow in the suburbs, but they were struggling to come up with a down payment. I sat down with them, and we went over their finances with a fine tooth comb. As it turns out, they were spending a small fortune on subscriptions and memberships they no longer used. They saved thousands of dollars by cutting out these unnecessary costs and putting the money toward their down payment. This is just one example of how paying attention to the small expenses in your life can add up to big savings when it comes to real estate. Look deeper into what you spend on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. What do you require, and what can you do without? Stop spending money you don't need to and put that money into a savings account or somewhere else you can't easily get to. This could be the beginning of your down payment fund. Another tip I always recommend is to consider purchasing a fixer-upper. Sure, it may require some elbow grease and a bit of upfront investment, but by taking on the renovation yourself, you can save tens of thousands of dollars on the purchase price. But perhaps the most important tip of all is to do your research. Know the market you're getting into and be aware of any upcoming events or changes that could affect the value of the property. By being an informed buyer, you'll be in a better position to negotiate a fair price and make a sound investment. So as the city fades into darkness, remember, saving money on your real estate purchase is not just about the numbers on a page. It's about being mindful of your expenses, thinking outside the box, and always doing your due diligence. In this video, we've covered the importance of due diligence, the power of negotiation, and the benefits of working with a seasoned professional. But the journey to financial freedom is never truly over. It's an ongoing goal that requires you to keep learning and keep pushing yourself to succeed. So, my dear friends, I leave you with this, never stop seeking out new ways to save money and make smart investments. Keep an open mind and a keen eye for opportunities. 
And always remember, the true measure of success is not how much you make, but how much you keep. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And don't forget to check out our other videos on real estate investing and financial literacy. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Until next time, farewell.